So the next thing it suggests that you go through is system snapshots. It says next, let's set an automatic system snapshot. And it says here, uh, this is good, a minimum of two daily and two boot snapshots are recommended. It says if anything breaks, you can then restore your computer to its previous working state. So I'm gonna go ahead and click launch on that. And now uh, you'll see this window show up um, and, the, and the application for system snapshots is called Time Chef. That's just the name of it. Um, so it says authenticate. This is an application is attempting to perform an action that requires privileges. Authentication is required to perform this action. So you'll see this window a lot on Linux. Um, and this is actually, I mean, at first it, it can feel like something of a nuisance or, or a little bit tedious, um, but this is actually um, designed well for security purposes because basically what this means is anything sensitive that's going to modify any of your system settings um, that are, you know, significant, uh, you need your login password to be able to do that. Um, you won't be able to do it without you know, without having the same password that you used to log into the computer. So, so anytime you see this authenticate screen show up, which it will happen frequently um, in Linux, all you need to do is just type in your password, the same one that you use to uh, log into the computer. So I'll go ahead and do that and be back in a moment. All right, so after you've authenticated, then you can see here there's a setup wizard. It says select snapshot type. Um, I always just leave it at the default one there. Um, but there's more details if you need to figure out what the difference is and what's the better setup for your system. Um, go ahead and hit next at the bottom there. And it says estimating system size. And so it's going to go ahead and check everything. And then here again, we have our separate drives and everything. It says select snapshot location. So um, I'm going to actually put it over here because the other uh, drive is not where this one is installed at. Um, so it's actually inst the, this particular uh, instance of Linux is installed on this drive here. So I'm going to put it on the right drive. Uh, and this is devi devices displayed above have Linux file systems. So I have you know two mints. Um, there are two separate uh, drives that I have on my system. One is three terabytes and one is one terabyte. Um, and they both have Linux, a version of Linux Mint installed on them. So that's why it's detecting two here. Um, so let's see here. So devices with Windows file systems are not supported. So NTFS, FAT, etc. Um, so, uh, so those would not uh, be allowed for the snapshots. And it says uh, remote and network locations are not supported. And it says snapshots are save to uh, slash time shift on selected partition other locations are not supported okay so it's just giving you a general review like hey we're going to put them in the snap or in the time shift folder and you know uh, you can't put it you know other places so let's we'll go ahead and do next again on this one and now it said uh you know a minimum of two daily and two boot um snapshots are recommended so um, I'm going to go ahead and just go by the recommendation so you can check off different things here. Um, it did show a prompt there, I thought. Let's see, where'd that go? Oh, it says number of snapshots to keep. Older snapshots will be removed once this limit is exceeded. So, um, so you can do, if you wanted, you can just check the box next to monthly if you wanted to keep a monthly snapshot. You could do all of them if you'd want, but I'm just going to go ahead and do what they recommended and bring this down to two daily and two boot snapshots so that will be so what that means is it'll take um two it'll keep two uh daily snapshots so once a day it will take a snapshot of your system that you can then roll back to if you need to um or twice a day sorry it'll be or no once a day it'd be once a day but it'll keep two days two separate days worth that's what it is um, and then so and same with boot so it'll keep two separate uh, snapshots that it takes at the time of uh, booting up and that's good just in case you have some kind of problem where you suddenly can't boot into your system or, or whatever you could roll back to one where you were able to boot or that sort of thing um, and then you again you could do more you could do you know hourly if you wanted uh, weekly monthly if you wanted to keep you know uh, some older stuff going but 
that's usually pretty good. Um, in most cases, you won't even need to reference this, you know, but in, in the event that you do have to uh, try to do a recovery or something, um, these are here for you. And you can always come back in and change your uh, your settings for this at a later date. So, And then it says scheduled snapshots are enabled. So the snapshots will be created at selected intervals if snapshot disk has enough space. And it says, uh, you know, greater than one gigabyte of space. So, um, so there's plenty of that. Uh, this stop cron emails for scheduled tasks. I'm not even sure what that does. I always just leave it checked by default. I'm not really sure, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but we just leave it alone there. And then it says uh, user home directories. It says user home directories are excluded by default unless you enable them here. So. Um, this would be if you wanted to also keep a backup of your personal files and things like that. Uh, but that would take a lot of space on your hard drive to do, especially the more, uh, you know, the more files you add to, to you know, save to your computer and all that. So um, rather than use them in the automatic, you know, snapshot system, it's usually uh, more recommended to just keep a backup copy that you make yourself, you know, on, on a separate driver or whatever of your data, your personal data and things like that. Um, and then just leave this to just the, um, you know, just the important system files and things like that um, for the automatic backup here. And it says setup complete. And so they're enabled. And then uh, system can be rolled back to a previous date by restoring snapshot. So the storing snapshots only replaces system files and settings. Non-hidden files and directories in user home directories will not be touched. And, and so on and so forth. It goes on to more stuff. Um, save your snapshots to an external... Okay, you can save them to an external disk if you want, but we didn't in this case. So, um, Saving snapshots to a non-system disk allows you to format and reinstall the OS on that system. So that's... I mean, there's some specific, uh, interesting use cases you can do here that, that, you know, if you're really more inclined, uh, you can use it in a specific way, but generally just having it set up will, in this way will be good for, you know, uh, basic use and, and everyday use stuff. So let's go ahead and do finish after that. So let's close the window to exit. It says time shift is active right here on the bottom. So that's how you know your snapshots are good to go. So you can go ahead and just close this at this point. This is one of those things where generally you just set it once and then once you're happy with the settings, you don't have to set it again. Um, so we've got system snapshots all set up. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn even more, you can find my books at bookstoread.com slash Jonathan. That's books, the number two, read.com slash J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N.